Right, hey guys, welcome to episode 8, the 8th episode of my series. Um, I'm going to start off with saying hi to all the new subs this week. I mean, they've had loads, thanks to CMB. Really appreciate you guys watching my videos and joining in. Um, hopefully I've got some cool stuff to show you guys, uh, to keep you watching. So let's have a look what I've done this week so far. Uh, so, I've been digging out this, this tunnel here, which I said I would. Um, it's much further back now than it was before. It's probably not that well lit in the video, but um, that's only because I've just finished and I haven't had a chance to light it up properly yet. But but um, but yeah, I'm hopefully going to have this cleared within the week. So whilst I'm, before this episode goes live, I'll probably have that all dug out, but I just thought I'd show you my progress. Um, but the main thing, I've stopped digging, well I'm running out of pickaxes, but also I would like to show you, I'd like to invite you to my uh, to the, the opening ceremony of the chicken farm. Uh, which I'm yet to pick a name. I've seen a few already that I really like. Um, some more ridiculous than others. There's definitely a few I like. Oh, and I'm trying out grass in here. Someone said there's not enough green in my base. And I agree. Oh, there isn't. There's none. <laughs> so, um, getting some green down. Just, just trying out a few ideas. So, see how that looks when it finishes. But, um, what we're going to do, because um, I didn't really show you exactly how this worked before. Um, so, we won't use the switches yet. I'll use those at another time, but what I'll do, I'll show you, I'll put some toggles on the top so I can do things from the top, and I can show you what's going on up there. So, I'll obviously explain now, this room here is the loading bay, that's where I load all the eggs. Now, as you can see, I've actually loaded every single one with a set of eggs. That'd be full of chests in here, um, full of eggs, obviously, and then what happens is, they are fired, which I'll show you in a second, into this bay here. Now this is also toggleable, um, and it's toggled by this block here, which underneath here there's a uh, redstone torch, which is powering this here. Now when that's powered, these pistons all push down. There's one here, one here, oh, and a pig. Why not? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, it must have fallen down from the from the roof. But uh, yeah, and there's one there, and also one over on this side in the same position. Now they basically control the flow here, and when it's full of water, the chickens all float around in here, and they lay eggs, and the eggs get collected. When there's no chickens, so when there's no water, the chickens all drop down, kills a the lot, they all fall to the bottom bit, and then, yeah, I'll show you them all being killed later on in this episode, but that'll be after I've done some more digging. So, oh, gone the wrong way, so what I want to do, pop them on the top here, I've put a, um, I've put a toggle switch on this circuit CMB showed me. Um, yeah, watch this. Oh, that is interesting, actually. That may actually be too quick. Quite a few are dying at the start, then. I imagine there's still absolutely loads in there. So that's that. So you see there's loads of chickens there now. So that's a full load. So we'll just turn this off. This obviously can be done using the power line as well from the bottom. But there you go. There's a set of chickens for you bit concerned about how many died. I'm also concerned there's going to be some in this bit here. I don't know if they glitch through. No. So anyway, I put a view in Bane so you can see all the chickens there bouncing around. Having a great time. <laughs> For now. Soon going to die. But um, <laughs> that's... They don't know that yet. They're innocent. They're young. They're free. But um, but yeah, and you can see from down here as well when you've got a good stock of chickens in there. So that's that. So um, what we'll do... I wanted to show you guys that. It's the first time I've seen it as well. Um, that worked pretty well. Um, probably a few changes to be made there that make it a bit, a bit better, a bit more efficient. Um, I think that the target board probably being further back would actually help the chickens not get stuck in the um, not get stuck in the wall. But that's something to try out. I'll try that out anyway. Um, but what I'll do, I'll play the game. I'll be digging. I'm going to be digging because I just I can't get enough of it. I will just love it. Absolutely love it. Um, or not, <laughs> but uh, it's got to be done. And uh, hopefully, when I've done some more digging, these guys are growing up and we can kill them all. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to you guys in a little bit um, and show you what's going on. All right then, uh, dug out more of this. Another four blocks deep. 
right along gone so that's uh, another part of that done gotta do so much more though but you know we're getting there and it's gonna be a slow process so just gotta keep doing that but um but yeah i've uh, done quite a few things here you can probably already see it's changed a bit. I just try, I'm trying out this new doorway style that I really like. It's like um, a doubled up arch. You get two circles on well, the outside. There's one over there as well. You can see that's in the background. I think it looks really cool. I finished this room off a bit now, so it's actually a room as opposed to something at the back. I tried to get some green in there as well. I'm not really sure about the bushes yet, but um, I quite like them. I think they're all right. Um, it is sort of the a bit more yet, but you know we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so yeah, what I thought we'd do is I'll I thought I'd show you the the spot the uh, the chicken killing mechanism basically. Put some lights up here so it's a bit more light up at the top. But um, and what that basically is going to be is more there as well, I think. Yeah, that's better. Look at that. There we go. And uh, yeah, so basically, I wanted to show you guys this in action. I've just spent a little while gathering eggs. You get loads. Gathering eggs and uh, see, <laughs> gathering eggs and uh, filling up the the uh, dispensers again. Um, so now it's just a case of sort of launching the thing off. So let me show you how this works. Then. So this is the switch I was telling you about earlier, which powers the the chickens as to whether they're laying eggs, whether they're falling down. So if, at the moment we've got eggs coming down, but when I pull this switch here. The water drops, all the chickens fall down, and now chickens will start falling into here. Now, this is gonna take a little while to, uh, to pile up, but you see, you see, they all come in. Now, the biggest problem I had, um, and the reason I didn't go for you end up using a, um, a flint design where you set the floor on fluff, set the floor on fire, and it buds um, a block that goes down and up, pick the fire out, but leaving the chickens on fire is if you try and get here. You notice know, the chickens are all in this corner and also in the other corner of the uh, of the pillar. So to do the um, the method where you use the floor and set it on fire, you have to have a free corner. But because of the way this they end up stacking, um, they will shoot out one of the corners when you try and open it up. So that's why I didn't go for that in the end. Um, now what we can do, I'll put that back on so, so I don't forget. That's the uh, that's the air collector. You can see it sort of reconnecting there. Now these guys, uh, that'll probably do, are about to get cooked, so a couple more will come down now because of the way it works. Oh, <laughs> so it's the lava blade, unsuspecting chickens there, <laughs> and then they're all on fire. They all die, there you go, and it's absolutely loads and loads of chicken breasts. How many did I get from that? 56 chicken breasts. Cool, so that's the system. And now because it's reset already, I've had the sound down because I've been uh, grinding mobs at the moment. But if I turn that back up, just so you can hear that it's firing, pop that. There we go. It's filling up already. I've moved something around at the top as well slightly so that it's now um, further back. And I'm hoping I get more chickens. Uh, as a result, we'll go up and have a look after this. Double check. Wait for it to run out first. There we go. Let's turn it off. Let's pop up there and see what's going on. I've also put a second staircase because it's symmetrical. And we all know I love symmetry. I said it before. Oh, that's definitely more. Yeah, cool. So what I show I've done actually. It's really straightforward though. So that's down there instead of in the middle there. You get quite a few more. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. Right, so that's that. Oh also I got this pickaxe which I'm really chuffed with. Uh, efficiency four, unbreaking three. It's in my opinion the best one I've got yet. Especially for what I'm doing at the moment, which is uh moving a lot of stuff around, so so yeah, so, um, so that's that. Um, let me know what you think about this design though. I quite like the wall being arched on one side. Uh, this is going to be storage, it'll be chests down here. Um, I, I really don't know about these bushes though. I quite like them. I think it, I think I guess when this is all green actually, 
that'll probably look a lot better. Um, but I really like these doorways, so I'm going to use these more often. I need to put one in this side yet, so you can't really tell from this side what it is. See, that's the lag I'm talking about. But now I can, can control when the chickens are and aren't there. I should be able to stop that from happening. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go work on a few more things, and I'll bring you guys back in in a minute. But yeah, oh, more lag, wow. And just let me know what you think of this room. And if you think there's anything you'd do to make it look a bit, bit better. I'm quite happy with it now, but let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. Right then, guys. Um, yeah, so done a few things since you last, since I last left you. Um, nothing massive, just a uh, few details here and there. Adding a few things in, and uh, I've come to a decision on something which I think is going to be quite cool. Um, and what that is is basically from now on, I'm going to be theming rooms. So you'll either have like a grass theme, a uh, water theme, or like a lava theme, like the uh, furnace room does. Just so they're all different, and so it's you know the the base doesn't end up looking like a big clump of brick. So this is the idea anyway. So this is um, obviously this is a grass themed one. It's very basic at the moment. Um, the chicken spawn is empty. I've just killed it. Look, you can tell from all the uh, all the chicken I've got at the moment. Um, we've obviously got the the bushes in as well. And actually, I was I, I do think it looks better with the with the grass either side like this. This sort of it, it fits better now, definitely fits better. Um, stairs on both sides. Yeah, nice symmetrical room now, so I'm very happy with this. This is uh, this is done now. Happy to say that. Oh no, actually I've got to put some chests in better positions over here. Or something over here anyway, I'm not entirely sure yet. But something back there, so probably, probably just chests for storage. Um, done quite a bit of work in here. Uh, the ceiling was really boring earlier on. Um, so I said I would, and I have. We've got some skylights in now. They're not much use at the moment because it's night. <laughs> but, um, but when it is daytime, they are brilliant. Light the room up. You know, what more could you want from a light? <laughs> uh, and we've got three at the back here as well. Just because it's off, off pattern slightly. And I'll pop this bit here in as well. Which is just for... Um, which is just, you know, to make the room look a bit... You know, not so empty in the middle. Um, also, the keen, the keen eyed amongst you may have noticed uh, a secret passageway just a second ago um, congrats if you did <laughs> but um, this is what I built basically as of about 20-25 minutes ago I got my 100th subscriber so I'm really really happy with that so what I did you know just to say thanks is we've got a room here full of all the subs and when it happened time and how many it was so yeah you know, you guys do this. So you know, I just want to, this is my way of saying thanks. I really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, you know, it means a lot. Um, and obviously, I don't forget you guys who went out on a limb and you know supported me from when I was just starting out. So this is my thanks to you guys. And this will stay in the this will stay in the world now. Um, hopefully, you can spot your name in there. If I've made any mistakes, let me know straight away. And uh, yeah, I'll get it changed up. I might do it right. So, but yeah, little cinematic, cinematic uh, pan there for you. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so that's that. So I'm happy with this. This is a little cool room. Nothing too complicated. Just you know, just so everyone's got a name in here. That's what I wanted. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Um, nothing massive to show you. But what I'll do, what I'll be doing, obviously between now and the next episode loads of work on the main base. I think the main base is going to be my project for the next few weeks. Um, that and this melon farm which uh, after having had now for well it's been about a week it's been there. It's so far growing no melons so something's wrong. I'm not absolutely sure on the uh, the way melons work but I think it might have something to do with the fact that there's a brick above the melon plant. Could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because uh, I want some melons and I want, you know <laughs> but I might just change that and see what happens anyway, so so I'll leave you guys today, just a big thanks again to everyone for subscribing uh, keep, me, keep me posted with your comments give me your ideas uh, you know, like if you enjoy it, I hope you do put a lot of effort into these and um, yeah, just um, thanks again guys and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time